Hey everyone, Steve Smed here. Today I want to talk about shooting my first pack of FP100C peel apart film. People who know me know I love film photography and one of my favorite formats in film is instant film. And so a couple years ago I learned about this type of instant film called peel apart film or pack film where you literally peel apart the film and are left with a negative and a print. And I thought it was so cool, but sadly it was discontinued by Fujifilm in like 2016. Packs were prohibitively expensive, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on a couple because I really wanted to try this out before it was gone forever. Because the film is so expensive and there's only so much left, you really have to make every single shot count. So with this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite shots from my first pack and the thought that went into them. I recently just got back into skating, so I met up with my friend Emily and we skated around and took some photos. This is the first one from the pack I got of her. I think it looks pretty neat. I really like the green court that we were on, the shadows coming from the trees, and because the film speed is so slow and the fixed lens is like a f11, I wanted to make sure that we were shooting in direct daylight. Wow, I look frumpy. <laughs> While we were skating, we actually met a really cool couple. And after talking to them, we found out we had some friends in common. So I offered to take their picture. It actually ended up being one of my favorites from the whole pack of 10. Just everything about the color, the symmetry, how their shoes match, the school in the background, the tree behind them lined up. And I really like this photo. I think it's brimming with so much personality and it was just a really genuine moment I shared with these people. A few weeks later, I met up with my friend Julio and we walked around the water near downtown Brooklyn. I was looking for inspiration, just looking at the skyline, looking at the water, having trouble really finding something. So this is the first photo I ended up with. I didn't really like going for a landscape and a portrait at the same time, so instead I just got closer and tried to get a really dramatic portrait. Now, because this film kind of works like reversal film and it's a pretty slow speed, the shadows were a lot darker than I thought they were going to be, but he was getting a really nice edge light and I ended up being really happy with it. Of course, I had to get some photos of my girlfriend too, so one day we were on a date and again, walking by the water, uh, I snapped this photo of her, but sadly, I set the photo down before it was done drying and I ended up ruining it. I don't, I don't even wanna show you how badly I ruined it. I felt so dumb, but yeah, be careful. If you ever shoot this film, let it dry before you slip it in your pocket or something. Anyways, when I had about two or three shots left, my friend Roberto and I had been talking about shooting a short fashion film with his girlfriend Kaya. So after some planning, we met up one day, went to Coney Island, shot a short fashion piece, and also took some photos. The shadows in the blue of the gate and Kaya's red outfit were just a really nice contrast and I really liked the shot we got. Later when we walked over to the boardwalk, I really liked the pinwheels and wanted to incorporate that in the shot, so I got really low to the ground. And I don't normally frame stuff like this, but I ended up being really happy with it. Just the small details of the park, the blue sky, Kaya's red outfit, her pose, you know, everything about it just <laughs> looks like a piece of album artwork. And that's it. Those are some of my favorite shots from this pack, including some of the ones I messed up. This is a really cool film. If you can get your hands on it, um, I really recommend trying it out and really try and make those shots count because this stuff is not cheap. 